Oh, look at it! Look at how beautifully our reticulated python exhibit is coming along! Oh, I'm so sorry I didn't keep you guys with me while I was decorating more of it. I just kind of got caught up in putting things here and putting things there and taking out spots and putting down logs and putting down mushrooms and here's a little bit of algae and there goes the mud. And then I had to build a little well. A little well for infinite water and then put a little bit of water here, a little bit of water there. Oh! Look at it! The willow tree, some of the logs, the reeds. I really think that we're going to have a very happy reticulated python in this exhibit. It's going to be nice and humid. It's going to be really... Oh, what is the phrase I'm looking for? Oh, Lily, Tate! Bedtime! It's going to be very jungle-esque, very appropriate environment. We have our little zookeeper door. That's how we get in and out. And it's almost complete, you guys. It just needs the glass to go on top. But because it just needs the glass, I figured why not put the baby egg down? I don't know how long it takes for the reticulated python. Well, it's just a python egg. Don't get me wrong, just a python snake egg. But, as far as I am concerned, that means it is a reticulated python egg. Because of the beautiful- oh, Lily Tate, you guys can't come in. Sit stay. Tate's back, by the way. He's been a very good boy, hanging out with his sister. Good girl, Lily. Good boy, Tate. Bringing me a bazillion fish. He had a lot of fun playing in the stream inside here. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Isn't it just gorgeous? We've got our little bushes. I think it's going to have a great time climbing and slithering and playing around here. It should be a very happy reticulated python. It normally tamed, I think it's okay. In the wild, they're, uh, in mo creatures, they're pretty aggressive. Do you guys remember the ones that we ran into, you know, that chased us and kind of did all that dramatic stuff, uh, and then they bit us and we got poisoned? Well, I just wanted to point out, uh, right before we place the egg, reticulated pythons, they are constrictors. They are not, uh, venomous. If it bites you and you get sick, a creature is venomous. If you eat it and you get sick, a creature is poisonous. There are very few poisonous snakes in this world. All right, now let's see. Let's put this egg down. I said let's put the egg down. <gasps> oh, there it is. Oh, that scared me. <gasps> oh, oh, the egg's gonna hatch soon. Okay, there you go, little egg. Have a little torch. Okay, okay. Oh, uh, mm, if the egg is hatching soon. Okay, okay. Then I'm just gonna, we're gonna sit. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Where'd the egg go? Where's our egg? Where's our egg? Where's our baby? What happened? What happened? What happened? No! Where's our little baby snake? Are you in here? No? Oh my goodness, how did we lose our snake? What? Did I, I picked the egg back up! Oh, that scared the bejesus out of me! I thought, I thought like, it, ugh, I don't know what I thought. Jeez, let's move you over here. Man, that gave me a heart attack. That is not necessary. Oh, where'd it go again? Oh, don't do that. Don't do that, little egg. I worry enough about my real animals. I don't need you adding to things. I'm going to sit over here, little egg. <gasps> it moved. It moved again. Oh my goodness, let's get a picture. Do, 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 do. Hello, little egg. You're going to be a reticulated python. Whoops. Right, there we go. I am not a reticulated python mommy. <gasps> it's here! Da, 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 da. Reticulated python. Oh, it doesn't fit. Um. R. Python. Short for reticulated uh, python, I think. Done? <gasps> Hi, baby! Look at it! Oh, is that so... Is that so? Look at him! Oh my goodness! Oh, look at him slither! I think he enjoys his area. Look! Wow, he's so big! He's so big already! And you're just gonna get bigger! Oh my gosh! This is so exciting! Okay, okay. Let's see. Can't hide your... Can I use a book to, like, check on you and stuff? I don't think so. Wait, I think I can. Oh, look at you. I'll get a book in a minute so I can see if I can look at facts. You're not going to bite me, are you? No? Okay, let me look at you. Look at those beautiful patternings. Ugh. The type of camouflage they use is actually called disruptive camouflage. And although it looks, uh, you know, if you look at the snake itself... Hi! Hi, little R. How are you? 
If you look at the snake itself, it seems to have really bright contrast that to us would make the snake stand out, like if you're just looking at the snake. But here in your natural environment, surrounded by all sorts of cool logs and, and mud and algae and cattails. Look at you go. Oh, he's swimming in his little stream. You're such a good snake. I'm so glad. Look, this is your home. This is your home. I have to finish building your roof. I'm going to build your roof, okay? You stay in here. We're going to keep an eye on you from above. Should be pretty fun. Stay in here. Okay. Let's see. Do we have some... Oh, I need some dirt. Lily Tate, we have our very first zoo resident. Oh my gosh. And we're going to have to build like... Okay, let's get out some dirt. And we're actually going to have to build like some signs and things so we can talk about our little python. Let's see. Let's jump up here. There we go. Check this out. Whoops. Almost jumped right into the exhibit. That's not what we wanted to do. Look at him. Oh, he's so cute. This exhibit is perfect for him, too. Whoops. Yeah, that's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> oh, wow. Our first snake. Oh, I'm so excited. I think this little house is going to be perfect for him, too. We just need to make sure that we get everything. Can I? There we go. That's better. Everything all covered up so he doesn't escape. And we're going to have to go to the nether pretty soon at some point. Because we need to change some of these out with some glowstone. And tuck some glowstone here and there inside the like inside his enclosure so that the snake can stay warm. For now I'm probably going to have to dive back in and put in a few torches. So nothing spawns inside his zone at night. That would be really bad. Let's see, let's back up here, and there. Whoops, that's not what I wanted. Let's see. Can I pick that up? Oh, sweet, I can pick it up. Alright, let's... There we go. Where'd you go, R? There you are, enjoying your little water feature. So cool. Let's see, how far out we do want? I want the glass there. Yeah. Oh, man, but yeah, reticulated pythons. Uh, like I was saying, I'm not a python mother, so I didn't brood over the egg the way that python moms actually do. Even though they're huge snakes, they are not the biggest snake in the world, uh, though they are considered, like, mm, let's see, get up to about 22 feet, average 10 to 20 feet, so 22 is kind of big. There have been recorded instances of them getting as big as 30 feet or so. Let's see. Yeah, that's about as far out as we want it there. And then I want to raise it up one more. I'll be right back, R. I need to go get some, uh, where'd you go? Well, let's just come down in here and look at him again. Look at how cool you are. You're just the most awesome snake ever. Oh, yeah, you know it. Hopefully he'll get really big. Do I have any rats? No rats. I don't think rats will make him grow any faster. I think rats only heal him if he gets hurt. I gotta make sure that's closed. Lily, date! We have our first zoo animal! Ooh, while I'm over there getting the glass, though, we can also get some... Whoops. Hmm, there we go. We can also get a sign so that we can write reticulated python. All right, come on. There. Jeez, sometimes it takes a minute for me to figure out how to run. But yes, reticulated python mothers will wrap themselves around their clutch of eggs. Uh, keep it warm, protect the eggs, but and that's called brooding. It's not a thing that many snake species do. Most snakes kind of lay their eggs and they're like... All right, good luck to you. Bye-bye. I might even eat you if I see you again. Don't show up. Uh, yeah. Don't have to worry about Mother's Day or rioting in or anything. I totally forgot why we're here. Glass. Signs. That's right. Come here, signs. I'm just that. Wait, did I put you in here? No. Actually, <laughs> did I really leave? Oh, no. I think I'm going to be very embarrassed. I think I actually have a furnace with the glass back at the snake house. That's how excited I am, guys. I'm sorry. I'm just, I'm all over the place. But yes, so reticulated python mummies actually do, uh, whoops, try to take care of their babies a little bit. Um, as long as they're in the egg. After you're out of your egg, sayonara, good luck. You're about two feet long already. You can eat small rats. Hmm. Well, that's not where my glass is. I could have sworn... I know I've got... Let's see. Glass panes. Ah, here's some sand. Well, little reticulated python, it's going to take me a second to finish your roof. Whoops. 
Sand! Sand! Jeez, I'm all over the place because I'm so excited. Lily? Tate? Okay, let's come over here. Badoink. 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 Whoops. Look at you! Hi! Hi, are you looking at me? You like your little cattails? You like your little pond? You like your little river? They're good swimmers! These guys, even though they get so big, you know, they average around 130 pounds, like I said, 10 to 20 feet. So, you know, they're not the biggest snakes. Anacondas, especially the common anaconda, also known as the green anaconda, they get a lot bigger. They can get up into the 370 pounds, like big. And uh, some of them can weigh in at about, or measure up to about 37 feet. So actually, uh, but that's uncommon. The reticulated python tends to be longer, but the green anaconda tends to be heavier. So that's a good way to differentiate the two. Also, the reticulated python is spread throughout of Asia. Asia and some of the islands around Asia, huh? Because you're a good swimmer. You like to swim between the islands and eat things. And despite, whoops, lag spike. Something. Are you chasing away a meteor? Was a meteor trying to come for us? Good. Nobody's gonna hurt you. I have your own private meteor right over here. Don't worry. But yeah, reticulate pythons primarily are going to be eating rodents. Snakes usually eat, you know, the, the small mammals. Uh, in your case, you're only so big. You're probably like two feet, like a new hatchling. And you're gonna eat some rats. And eventually, you'll, you'll graduate up to civets and deer when you're really big. But they don't eat humans. That is a common myth. Because, you know, we're scared of giant snakes. Sorry, buddy. Don't mean to be scared of you. I mean, who could be scared of that adorable little face? Oh, so cute. Alright, let's see. Where should I put this? Hmm. Hmm? In the middle, maybe? Over here? Alright, let's see. Retic- Oops. Why do I keep retriculated? Reticulated. Python. Done. Boom! Look at you go, little buddy. Alright. Jeez, what is with this? Something's trying to get me. I just know it. Alright, Lily Tate. Hang on one second. We're gonna pop in here. What is going on? I'm suspicious. Lag spikes means something's spawning to get me. Alright, let's see. Let's resume. So, yes. Our little reticulate pop- Oh, I see you. I see you. You stay over there. We need cats so bad. Because I was working on this earlier. All the plants and everything. And you know what showed up? A creeper. Um, I don't know if 16 glass is going to be enough. We'll find out. Let's hop back up there. I think we're almost to the height that I want it at. Because we want it to kind of tear. Ugh. No, I can't make it. There we go. We want the glass to kind of tear up. And then it's going to tear up one more, maybe a few more too. Yeah, chasing away a meteor. Get away. Get out of here, meteor. You can't have our snake. This is the first establishment of the Zudesia farm. Quite proud of it. Go away, scorpion. Do I have my bow? I do indeed. Got a fancy new bow. It's not the one I want. Not the one I want, but it'll have to do. That's right. You get out of here. All right, let's see. Hmm. Hmm, I don't want either of those. Dang it, breaking glass. I hate breaking glass. It's always a tragedy. Let's see, how am I going to... How do I do it here? I put a full pane. One second, guys. I have to consider the logistics. Hmm. I wonder, what if I put you here? And, aha! I'm cheating it. And you, I can actually pick up. Boom! Whoops! 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 <laughs> Hi! <laughs> well, and that made me fall right in. That's okay. Alright, let's come over here. Climb back up. Man, it's chasing a lot of meteors away. That's probably what's bothering us. Sorry about that, guys. I'll try to fix the lag before I record next. Don't know why that's happening. Yeah, let's grab more of those. But our first snake! I'm so excited! Especially because, yeah, like I said, particularly pythons, pretty cool little guys. People think they attack humans. They're constrictors if you decide to be, uh, 
well, I won't go into the words of what I think if you have such a snake as a pet, but basically if you decide to have one as a pet, you have to remember that they are like any creature. They have their own qualities of danger. Whoops. And the fact that you're inviting a creature that, you know, has a reptile brain and is supremely strong into your home may not make the best pet environment. I'm just saying. Since pull you over here. So there have been incidents where uh, they have killed humans, but there have been no verifiable, verifiable being the key words, uh, recorded incidences of them eating humans. So I'm not so worried about you. I think you're adorable. Uh, mostly they just kind of stick to their, whoops, oh, always so sad when we lose a piece of glass. Mostly they just kind of stick to their, uh, their mammal diet. Well, they're small mammal diet. <gasps> Are you bigger already? I swear the snake has grown already. He looks a lot bigger already. Jeez. That's because we have the right kind of environment for you, huh, buddy? Aw, oh, man, this is so exciting. Our first snake, our first exhibit. And it is a beautiful exhibit, if I do say so myself. Uh, built to his specifications. Let's see, come out here. Since he needs... Oh, oh no. I can't get up. No, how embarrassing. There we go. Since he needs... Can I do this? Yeah, whoa! Hey! Hey! Watch where you're going! I mean, if that thing can chase away meteors, I don't want to get hit by that. It could probably, like, obliterate me. That wouldn't be too cool. How you doing, Mr. R? Doing good down there? I really think he's grown already. That's pretty impressive. There, let's come out here. Good. And then his home will almost be complete. I think our next thing will to be taking an adventure into the nether. Let's come over here and over here. Whoops. Oh no! I need to go get more glass. We're almost done though. We'll be taking an adventure into the nether because he does need glowstone to warm him up and to prevent things from spawning in there. In fact, we should probably pop in there. Let's see, let's come over here and come over here and do this and boom. I think that'll be enough to finish it off. We should probably pop in there and put a couple torches in, like I said. Not only for warmth, but also just because we don't want anything spawning in here and hurting him. Put one there. Put one here. We can hide them behind the things. Um, I don't think anyone... Whoops! Didn't mean to make that vine go away. Can't really put one up there. No, not on the underside. Oh, uh, well, we might as well just put one there. Oh, and no one will see them if they're over here. Hey, buddy! You have gotten bigger! I swear you've gotten bigger. Look at your beautiful blocks! Look at your little purple tongue. Yeah. Yeah, is that so? Oh, so cool. So cool. Alright, let's finish off the top. And you know what happens after this, guys? We work on a new exhibit. We do have coral snakes. We have quite a few other things. Let's see. Jump up here. There we go. And should have enough glass to finish this off. Come over here. There's that. Whoops. Ah. At least we can pick up these. I'm trying to think. Anything else cool about you that I can... Uh, where'd you go? Where'd you go, buddy? There you are, enjoying your little, little pond. Yeah, he's still in there. As long as he's still in there, we're all good. But I don't think he can escape in any particular direction. So we should be fine. Man, look at this beautiful world. Next up, I'm trying to think, yeah, another snake, because we need to get the dimensions of the snake house. Which, you know, we might have multiple snake houses at this rate, I don't know, because we can have a lot of different species of snake if we just toy with the different biomes. So we'll have to see, we're just going to have to see how it goes. But we'll work with the original six that come with moo creatures and just figure out our way from there. Alright, let's destroy this little pillar of dirt. I'm going to kill whatever's lagging my computer, I swear. 
but that's okay. I'm too excited. I had to share this with you guys because it's our first zoo creature. All right, Lily. All right, Tate. Let's go around the front. Let's admire. I'm going to have to start working on the stuff that's out here. I'm going to have to like put a little book down that in a box that has tons of information about him. He has gotten bigger already. Oh, he totally has. Oh, this is amazing. Look at it. I think this is just a great spot for him, a great enclosure. Hopefully he's not stuck. We'll keep an eye on him. Nope. Proven, proven you're not stuck right there. Good job, little buddy. Good job. And voila. Look at that. Look at that. Wow. Wow, I guess I guess we do need more glass panes to close that off, but I can fix that easy. Wow. Look at this. It's it's really nice. It's really nice. And we have our snake in there now. This is cool. This is cool, Tate. Lily. Do not get in the snake exhibit. I think he's almost big enough to try to eat you, so none of that. Oh, well, there you go, guys. I, I can't think of any other cool things about Reticulated Pythons off the top of my head. Southeast Asia, the islands around there. You're not such a bad guy, huh? You can kill humans, but, I mean, you're a freaking 20-foot snake. Don't play with 20-feet snake. <laughs> Snakes, it's kind of it's kind of the general rule here. <laughs> so, there you go. Alright guys, so let me know what you think. This is our first little animal. Yeah, what's up? Our first dude. I wonder how big he's going to get. These guys are supposed to get really big. Well, huh. What next? The coral snakes? Uh, the rattlesnakes maybe? We'd have to go find a desert and get some cacti and all sorts of fun things. That could be a fun adventure. Oh yeah, and the glowstones, because we do need to put glowstones, maybe in some of the walls even, to help keep our snake warm. That's responsible snake ownership. I swear you're getting bigger as I look at you. Wow. Alright guys, well we'll see you back here. Yeah, yeah, uh-huh, you too, being silly geese. Where we will start working more on maybe uh, maybe a trip to the nether to gather up a bunch of glowstone for our snakes. Because we're going to work on another snake exhibit next. And we'll have to figure out... Are you okay? You okay, dude? Yeah, he's okay. Whew, good. And we'll figure out if we're going to do... Man, look how big he is already. If we had made this any smaller, it would have been a bad exhibit for him. Uh, you know, rattlesnake, coral snake, and brown snake, I think, are the ones we have. Uh, or a green, dark green snake, I think. So I'll do a little research on them, figure out uh, what our next habitat is going to be, and we'll start work on it. Alright, bye bye guys!